Hi, my name is Tom Randolph. I'm the director of the Livestock and Fish CRP, the CGAR Research Program on Livestock and Fish. It's a program that's been working now for five years, trying to pull together all the different components of research across the CGAR related to livestock and fish, mainly with a focus on, on value chain development uh, for making inclusive value chains that will produce more animal source food for the poor. Obviously gender has a big role in this, uh, both in terms of like livestock keepers and the people who work in uh, animal source food value chains. Many of them are women. They benefit from it. Uh, they also don't benefit as much as they should. Also on, in terms of the food that is produced, it's meant for uh, improving nutrition and it's women who play a critical role in, in mitigating and mediating that. For us, the, the issue of gender research uh, has been high on our agenda rights right from the beginning. And I think what has been very important for us was making a distinction early on between strategic gender research uh, versus um, mainstreaming the research into all of our research agenda. And this has been a classic uh, problem for the CGAR for years. Whereas we know that gender is important, the challenge has been how do we translate that into research that really does improve the uptake and the benefits of the agricultural research that we do. So a lot of our, our work has been trying to, to identify what are those entry points for gender research. And I think we've made a, a, a lot of progress under Livestock and Fish in helping to define what those issues are and what may be the appropriate approaches. Um, on one aspect, one side of it, we look at accommodative uh, gender research that looks at more at what are the technologies that we're working on and how could they be adapted, how could they be modified and, and tweaked to make them more beneficial to women, uh, more adapted to their needs versus being just generic and usually meant for, for men. That has been really a challenge because on the one hand we have gender specialists who understand gender issues but don't understand the technologies. On the other hand we have people doing the technology research who unfortunately don't really understand the, the gender implications. And so trying to get build the bridge between those two uh, has been one of our clear priorities uh, and the effort that we've made in now giving a real focus to that in developing a series of case studies of how that might look um, has, is, will be a critical output of the program and hopefully will f really make the uh, foundation for a new agenda on this gender research on technologies. The other aspect of our research on the transformative approach uh, is more about what, how do we change the, the rules of the roles that women play in their societies and in the agricultural systems where they work. And in that respect, again, we've been facing a challenge in terms of, okay, we know there are issues, but what's our role? Um, what kind of research should we be doing on that? And is it really our role to do that research? So the challenge there has been more, how do we define that agenda so that we generate evidence about what our, that kind of research should do and can create in terms of benefits? Is it really our role? Um, how do we define that? So that's the other challenge is really defining the boundaries of, of what our research should be on. So I think um, we've, we've given certainly gender a, a high priority. The problem has been getting all the resources that we need to really do the, the full extent of the type of research we want to do. Uh, and we've been doing this in, in collaboration with other CRPs across the whole CG system. But I think we're, we've made a first step in pulling together of, a base of, of evidence of different approaches and, and what, how they can be used and what they can produce. 
and it's really now into the next phase of CRP research where I think that will get refined, synthesized, and we'll be able to, to do a whole new generation of, of gender research that really translates into more impact as to how do we, how do we use that information and make our, our technologies smarter and, and gender inclusive.